Well, howdy, everybody. This is John Michael. It's the fifth Thursday of Lent, and today we have the great I Am proclamation of Jesus. He says, before Abraham was I Am. Now, I Am goes back to Exodus, where the Lord reveals himself to Moses as I Am who am. And the great tetragrammaton, the YHWH, is uh, one of the, when we read Lord in the Old Testament, it goes back to the YHWH, and it basically means underived existence. So they're talking about, where did you come from? Did you come from Galilee? Where, where did you come from? You know, the Messiah is not supposed to, he says, you don't know where I came from. And they said, well, you know, you don't know my father. And he says, before Abraham was, I am. Wow. So when we experience, this is one of the great statements of the deity of Jesus Christ that the early church immediately believed. When you read St. Ignatius of Antioch, he actually says boldly, Jesus Christ is God. Now, he also believed that Jesus Christ was fully human. He was fighting a group of people in the early church called Docetists. Docetism comes from the word that means seems like and they wouldn't receive the Eucharist because we celebrated the body and blood of Jesus in the Eucharist. And Docetus believed he only seemed human. He was so divine, he only seemed human. He didn't have a body, and therefore he didn't have blood. So they abstained from the Eucharist. So this whole beautiful knowledge of the of the what's called the hypostatic union of the divinity and the humanity of Jesus is so hard to understand. Some of the early heresies, they only believed in his deity or they only believed in his humanity. And it's the paradox of both, of both. And today Jesus is giving us his I before Abraham was I am. He is my father. And this is one of the statements of the deity of Jesus Christ. I hope you believe this. Let's find this balance. See, when we find this balance in Jesus, then we get to, he takes on our humanity so we might share in his divinity, says Saint, Second Peter. It's also in the Mass. So we, we rediscover that divine spark in our own life through the gift of Jesus Christ. That's my prayer for you guys today. I love you. All things are possible with God.